Good news for drivers, automated car safety systems seem to be working. Yeah, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety taking a look at this. There is some concern that drivers are going to rely too much on the technology and uh, expect the car to do all of the work. But sure. we've heard those fears when you had seatbelt technology improved, mm -hmm. airbag technology improved. That does crash in everything now. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to be fine. fine. You're going to be fine. fine. Oh, it's all great. No, this technology is quite amazing. If you've shopped for a new car, you've probably seen these lane departure warning systems, mm -hmm. which yeah. to me is some sort of magic how the car can tell where the lane is. It's awesome. The technology is so cool. It senses like the little white dash. Yep. It's very impressive. And the, it'll beep if you kind of veer out mm -hmm. of the lane. Kind of like a rumble strip just within your car in any lane. Pretty neat. There's also yeah. blind spot uh, monitoring, which that's been around, I feel like, for a while. Yeah, yeah. you get the flashing light to let you know that yep. there's someone Yep, in your there. side view mirror. So, or in the, the rear view mirror in the middle. So the Insurance Institute mm -hmm. looked at 5,000 accidents over a couple of years. And they looked at accidents that have vehicles that uh, had these sort of systems in there. Right. And they found uh, injury crashes were 21% lower by vehicles that wow, had warning that's systems. Pretty big. It's not so nothing. there are still yeah. crashes happening, sure. right? right? Of course. But you have that split second warning of like, oh, I got to move. Mm -hmm. And you aren't slamming head on into people, you're yeah. not doing a full side swipe. Yeah. This is a lifesaver, Matt. Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, if you extrapolate out that 21%, it comes out to something, what, 55,000 less injuries yeah. a year? Yeah, I it's mean, significant. It, 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 so as someone who drives oftentimes with screaming kids in the backseat, hmm. it's very easy to get distracted even just for a moment. And, you know, you're going around a turn, it's super simple to just slide out of the lane. Well, and I think, too, we aren't making much headway in getting people to stop being on their phones while they're driving. Distracted driving is up across the board. Yeah. So that I think we need to start doing something else besides just telling people to listen and they don't listen. But a lot of people are turning off this technology, right? Like this exists oh, in cars. Because they're embarrassed. Well, the beep, the beep alerts everyone in your car that you are an idiot. And so people don't like it and they turn it off. And yeah. sometimes maybe it overwarns. They're working on this stuff. Yeah. One of the solutions I think is pretty clever. Kind of. I love this. So they're, so they're actually working on kind of like a, a little vibration in the steering wheel. So similar to the rumble strip in that way, or they would do it in the seat. So you'd too. know. You'd know. Yeah. And that would That's be good. It. But it wouldn't embarrass everyone or embarrass you about it. Got to get, the, gotta get Listen, the price down. Your though. family already knows you're an idiot. They <laughs> need another yes. reminder. Yes, a lot of it, it's an add-on feature, so you have to go up to the super high package. Right. Hopefully, though, it'll eventually cost four or five thousand bucks. Yeah. No doubt.